far watching the debates, it kind of just feels like nothing is for sure and it's all just kind of scripted and a joke. Um, which is really interesting because you see like the fact checker websites, um, but you don't even know if you can trust those at this point. Um, so, so far as watching the debates, I've just left with a lot of like more questions. Like every time I'm like, oh, maybe I'll finally get answers. There's just more questions that keep piling up and less and less answers. Um, which is really frustrating as like a first time is like if you don't get answers to any of the questions you have. Like you don't know what's important. They have been pretty profoundly embarrassing, I think, for the, for the American people um, and for American politics politics in general. I mean, the the current state of our discourse, the current state of our debate is absolutely uh, horrific. I mean, there's no substantive type of um, evidence or anything put forward. Um, I mean, especially by Donald Trump. Hillary, like, really has her talking points down. Um, but, I mean, I guess for me it's not necessarily what I want to hear. So I've been disappointed um, and embarrassed that, like, there just hasn't been uh, any pressure on her to change what she said. For the debate so far, it seems like both candidates are just bickering back and forth, which is really disappointing rather than actually talking about the issues um, of the debate and of the election. So, yeah, that's the, my biggest concern so far. Yeah, the third debate, I, I want it to be exciting and entertaining because, you know, a lot of people are... are you know, getting involved into politics because of Donald Trump running. So that's just interesting to see how uh, he's been able to, you know, draw a certain type of audience. I think I'm hoping to get some relevance out of it. Maybe talking about actual concerns we have in the U.S. system instead of just bickering back and forth. 